Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. It's time to start thinking spring to get us through the last leg of winter. These soft and pretty vellum overlay cards feature a beautiful digital image by Alex Siberia Design Tulip Close-Up. The image was printed two times for each card on vellum paper and watercolor paper. The ink on the vellum paper does not dry immediately, so I was able to coat it with gold embossing powder and heat set it. The tulips were painted with Magello Mission Gold watercolors. If you are interested in any of the products used to make these cards, you can find links in the description of this YouTube video or on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. I use a wet on dry technique, which simply means the paint was applied to dry paper. Because I was having a vellum overlay, I needed the colors to be quite saturated. Although vellum is translucent, whatever is on the other side of it is not going to be crystal clear. It's a bit like frosted glass. This large image with its simple lines is a perfect choice for a vellum overlay. The appearance of the tulips will be soft and ethereal, much like looking out into the garden when there's a light fog that has settled down around the plants. This first tulip is done with a combination of peacock blue and viridian. And before I go any further, I just want to make sure that I've got the intensity of color that I want. I'll deepen it just a little bit further and then I can use this as a point of comparison as I paint the rest of the petals. I make sure that I dry what I have painted to get a true idea of what it's going to look like. Watercolor will lighten as it dries. Now I have a good sense of the level of saturation that I need and I go ahead and paint the rest of the petals. Every other petal is painted and left to dry before painting the one next to it. This second tulip is being painted with a combination of rose matter and crimson lake. This is a very straightforward piece to paint. And because it will be overlaid with vellum, it doesn't have to be so precise or perfect. Using the vellum overlay not only brings an interesting quality to the overall look of the tulips, it also is a little bit of a safety net. You don't have to be so fussy, and so the painting is very relaxing. This tulip in the second card is being painted with a combination of permanent red and orange. During the painting process, I had a preference for the blue and rose-colored tulips. But once the overlay was introduced, I shifted completely and liked this one that I'm working on better. The second tulip is being painted with orange and yellow-orange. In my opinion, the warmth of these colors is enhanced by the vellum overlay. I wanted to point out something that I invested in a few years ago that I just love. I don't have direct access to water in my craft room and changing up the water, which is a necessity while you're water coloring, was a pain. So I invested in the Masterson Rinse Well. It's like a mini water cooler. And when you need clean water, all you do is depress the button, the water goes into a reserve, and clean water fills up the bowl. Even has holders for four paint brushes. I bought mine through Amazon. It's a little bit of an investment, but not horribly expensive. Whenever I can find something that makes life easier, I just like to share it. I decided not to paint the stems. The gold embossing would still accentuate them, but I really wanted those flower heads to be the star of the show. 
the watercolor panels were trimmed down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. The vellum overlay is aligned to the watercolor panel. I'm using a pencil just to make some little marks about a half an inch away from the edge of the watercolor panel so that I can trim the vellum down. The next thing that I'm going to do is position the sentiment. The vellum has been placed in my stamping platform and the sentiment stamped with Versamark ink. It will be embossed in gold like the tulips. The sentiments used for both cards is from one of my favorite all-time stamp sets, Simon Says Stamps Inside Friend Messages. The vellum is aligned to the watercolor panel and I use a little bit of post-it note just to hold everything in place. On my scoreboard, I'm going to line up the edge of the watercolor panel with one of the score lines. Of course, this will make the vellum much easier to fold, but you do have to be careful. The vellum can tear easily. As I am scoring, I am applying very light pressure. All four sides are creased, but I do check a couple of times during the process just to make sure that everything is aligned. The vellum is going to be adhered to the watercolor panel with double-sided tape. Some of the bulk will be removed from the corners by making a diagonal cut where the two score lines meet. One of the sides is going to be adhered before I continue with the rest, just to make sure that everything is in alignment and stays that way. The other two corners are trimmed down and then the double-sided tape is adhered to the rest of the sides. The wrapping of the watercolor panel is now complete. The panels are mounted on black cardstock that measures 5 and 3 8 by 4 and 1 8 of an inch. The card bases are A2 size of Nina Classic Crest 110 pound cardstock. Both cards are embellished with gold foil pearls by Studio Kasha. And that wraps up the soft and pretty vellum overlay cards featuring Alex Siberia Designs Tulip Close-Up. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I appreciate your visit.